today we're going to go on a tour of the local beaches. So we'll leave from the house and hit one after another. We are arriving in Uvita and for a quick uh, breakfast or a bagel, we're coming into the bakery bean, which makes all their stuff themselves. We're going to leave the bakery bean now. And here comes the first of your bigger grocery stores, and it's in Uvita. Coming up here on your left, the, the BM. There's a bunch of uh, restaurants, small shops in here. Um, to the left is the bank and the grocery store. And to the right here is a great sandwich shop and the ATV tours. We're going to drive through Uvita. It's going to dead end, and we're going to go to the left at the stop sign here. And you can park at any of these places. There's 2,000 colonies. There's one right down here at the end that's the closest one. Everybody wants us to park there. But we know there's one all the way here at the end. And this is the entrance to the state park. There's the entrance to the state park, and there's a fee that you have to pay. And walk through the trees and come out onto what's a truly beautiful beach. Here we are at Bellina State Park. This is low tide. And now you start to see the whale's tail. There's the reef formation, which then produces this amazing natural walkway that only shows up at low tide. We're gonna walk out. And we've arrived now at the whale's tail. You're looking straight out to the reef. And I'm gonna slowly pan around here so you can see. There's actually a point in the beach. You can see the reef out there where the waves slam against it. And continue on around. This is the point on the beach. Lots of palm trees to kick back and relax. And if we keep going, you'll see where we're we came from. This is straight back down the beach there. Beautiful mountains. Absolutely spectacular beach. And here we are at the very tip of the whale's tail. So this is a natural reef and because it's low tide it's exposed out of the water and then creating that very special effect. You can see it just kind of goes on for a good ways and that produces the blocking effect for the waves. And then I'm going to pan on around and then you can see the walkway to the end here. The beaches on both sides at low tide make a great place for swimming. There we go. And it's hard to believe that that will be completely underwater at low tide. This is a great beach for swimming. The waves are 
gentle. And the water's always warm. This is low tide at Galena Beach, the way it's there. If you look for these little holes on the beach, they're from sand crabs. And believe me, they won't hurt you, but they'll run away as fast as they see you. They have a pretty red color and an uncanny sense of knowing whether you're there waiting on them or not. stop is Playa Ventana's Beach and uh, it's not much of an entrance but look right here where um, gas arena bar that might be missing but if you'll turn down this little road and it's just a short little trip they don't charge for the beach but they do charge for parking here. Welcome to Costa Rica. Who needs a bridge? And here we are at the beach and the caves. And it's really quite spectacular. Here we are at Playa Ventanas. It's low tide. The beach is really big. A lot of people here today. It's a Saturday. And as we pan, we start to see the rocks and these really unusual cave formations that are actually right on the beach. And you see the two entrances coming up where the people are walking. And you can actually walk all the way through the ocean and at high tide. The surf just slams through them, making tremendous thunder like sounds. You see the caves and they go all the way through the ocean and they're all natural. At high tide though, they'll fill completely with water and it'll come exploding. The sound of thunder that you can hear for a long way away. walk toward the entrance of the cave here.
right and head south toward Okachao and we're going to go to the most spectacular waterfall um, not the tallest not the biggest just my personal favorite okay and here we're coming up uh, we pass Okachao and now you're going to see the signs here that talk about tilapia uh, restaurant and we want to make a left here now there's actually two tilapia restaurants my favorite one is not the first one but the second one um, we've got a little ways to go and then we can see the waterfall it's about two and a half kilometers and here we are at the waterfall you can either park at the restaurant and walk back down or park right here on the side of the road and the sign says Casada. there we are at the entrance to the waterfall and there's just a little short path we'll have to take then we come down to the waterfall itself and you do have to be careful coming down here because it is slippery but I think it's worth every bit of the trip depending on whether you're here in the rainy season or the dry season this is the dry season right now so there's not a lot of water coming down during the rainy season it's totally crazy Tilapia restaurant just past the waterfall and uh, their specialty and probably the only item on the menu is uh, fried tilapia which if you want you can catch it yourself and they'll be glad to cook it. And that is the tilapia restaurant my favorite. sign here that says Playa Dominical and we're going to make a left right here and this is the original Jimmy Buffett bill it was a hippie surfers retreat in the 70s and it's a little bit early but we have a nice bakery sandwich shop here on the right the rum bar on the right which is also a pizza place Rio Linda can't say I recommend that the uh, coffee Banco Congo which is uh, worth trying it's a good coffee bar the sushi restaurant is on the right here bakery on the left and this is famous downtown Dominical there's a number of restaurants Maracatu here on the right is all vegetarian you have a number of outfitters and sandwich shops on the left here is a brand new restaurant, Patrones. They have steaks and grilled fish uh, and a big bar. Another outfitter on the right. More gift shops on the right. It's a school on the left. Fruit 
Outfitters van, four Outfitters. And here's a really nice yoga studio here on the right. Bamboo Yoga Spa. Some small hotels. Or as they call them sodas. More fruit stands. More restaurants. Got the Fletcher Company here on the left. Got the police department. Uh, now we make a right, and this will take us to the beach itself. There's a little grocery store uh, on the right that's open late. is world famous Dominical Beach. Uh, again, it's early and the uh, merchants haven't started lining up, but there'll be continuous stands all up and down the beach. Coming up on the right is Tortilla Flats Restaurant and Bar. It was listed by USA Today as uh, one of the top 10 beachfront bars in the world and the food is good the drinks are good uh, absolutely worth a try Let's see here it's uh, only eight o'clock in the morning the surfers are already out it's a great time to walk the beach so you can see the house behind the big rock there straight ahead on the left and quite that's such an incredible view out to the ocean and straight down the coast here big surf this morning some huge rollers came in last night. Next stop is Port Cano restaurant coming up here on the right um, as we uh, left Dominical. It's a hard right, so slow down and you'll see what I mean in just a second. Alright, here we go. So you got Port Cano restaurant and which is an amazing view all by itself. Uh, 
and uh, the spectacular beach and the rock that you see looking at the house. And so here's Cork I know on the right. So after we eat breakfast at 4K now, we're going to walk right down here to the beach. And again, this is the one that you see looking from the house to the right. As you can see, we're on the Raqqa Beach. The uh, tide is actually going out. Almost looks like a lunar landscape here. It's really neat to watch the waves crash against the rocks. We're going to keep walking. Now we'll pan around here um, show you the rocks. And this is actually your view from the house. When you look down the coast, and that's looking north toward Dominical. And in just a second, you can see the house. That's the uh, right there is the amazing bonsai tree you see sitting in front of the house. And as we keep heading. So see the house right there in the distance. There you go. All right, and that's Villa Paraiso. And especially at mid to low tide, this is another really nice beach especially with all the interesting rock formations. And we're standing on Raqqa Beach. There's the spectacular bonsai tree that's in front of the house. And in fact, now we're looking at the house. And it's here, right here. So, I can see that's why you have such a great view. It's actually positioned facing the ocean and down the coast. The Rocca Beach is actually a really nice beach too. This is mid-tide, it'll get even much bigger. When you're looking toward Dominical from the house, you'll see surfers and there's a surf camp. Uh, right out there in the distance. See, it's a rather steep driveway. We'll make a right heading back toward the villa and on our journey to see the area's beaches. Our next beach stop is the one right in front of the house. Turn here at the sign that says La Parcella. be a good 
place. Alright. And this is Playa Dominicalito. So Playa Dominicalito is a bit rocky, but this is where you want to come to get your fresh fish in the morning. So there's the uh, bonsai tree you recognize. Mm. Talked to the birds this morning. And there's your fish, longer. And those little boats are what go out at night. You can see the little lights at night. They all go out together and they all come back together. And they bring the fishmonger here to catch in the morning. This is mid tide with the tide going out. You can walk out to the tree closer to the low tide, just don't forget to come back before the tide comes back in. Over to the left is the parcel.